Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to set up an item in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Um, I think, first of all, before we get to setting up an item in QuickBooks, you have to first understand what an item is. Okay, so in QuickBooks, uh, when you want to invoice something or you have to create um, a piece of inventory maybe that you sell, uh, and, and there are other things as well that you can use this for, but you have to first create what's called an item in QuickBooks. Okay, so let me show you this here. Uh, if we go over here to this list drop down menu, all right, you're going to see something that says item list. All right, so let's click on that and we'll open it up in the sample company file. You're going to see all these things. Okay, you're going to see the name, the description, the type. Uh, what account it goes to, et cetera. There's, you know, price, quantity for inventory, et cetera. All right, so you get down here and you see the different types. You got service, you got inventory part, you got inventory assembly, non-inventory part, other charge, subtotal group, et cetera. There's all sorts of items that you can set up. And really, if you want to think about it, the, the items are kind of the engine that are going to, you know, dictate uh, what you bill, uh, what you sell, uh, et cetera, within QuickBooks. And you're really going to use these items on the face of your, you know, your sales receipts, your uh, invoices, et cetera. And in some cases, you're going to use them on bills that you receive. Okay. So I'm going to show you some of the basics of how to set these things up. And I want to show you first an example. So if I go to customers and I go to create invoices, uh, you're going to see a column here for item. Okay, that's from the item list. When I hit that drop down menu, you're going to see all the different items that we can bill for. All right, so uh, you're gonna actually going to see all the items, but let's say we're going to, you know, bill for insulating and we have, you know, 25 hours. Let's say it's billing by the hour, 15 bucks an hour. It's going to total to 375. Okay, and so when somebody, when you invoice this and somebody pays it, I'll show you in a minute, but this item gets pointed to a specific account in QuickBooks. So a revenue account, because you're billing for this and it will show that within your profit and loss statement. Okay. So it, 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 it uh, everything connects. And so these items really connect to your accounts and what you're billing for so that it puts them in the right place on your profit and loss statement. Okay, so let me show you an example of this. I'm going to clear this and we're going to go back to our item list. Okay, so if we look at this item list, let's say that we um, we have a new, uh, we'll say a service. Okay, um, I'm not going to get into inventory parts in this video uh, because that's a whole other area when we talk about inventory, but we're going to talk about a service that we're going to set up. Okay, so from here, you can go down here, say click item, you can click on new, or you can simply right click anywhere on this screen and you can say new. All right, so it brings us up and we have to first specify what this is. What type of item is this? Is it service? Is it inventory part? Okay, so inventory part is going to be something that you sell to your customers and it's, uh, it's, um, something that you need to track. Okay. So you need to track how many you have on hand and how many you sold, et cetera. Okay. Inventory assembly is basically taking a couple different inventory parts, putting them all together into one package and then selling that package. Non inventory part is going to be something that maybe you sell, but you don't necessarily inventory. And I know that's a little bit confusing, but it could be, you know, small things. Um, um, it could be that, you know, maybe you sell, um, playground equipment and there's a bolt set that goes with that playground equipment that's separate, but you don't really charge for it. But when somebody buys the play set, you got to include one. Okay. That's a non inventory part. Okay. You want to track the number you have necessarily, uh, but you're not really charging separately for it. Other charge is just what it sounds like. Some other charge that you bill for subtotal will subtotal uh, a couple of different items onto the face of the invoice. And then, you know, at, then you can do group where you're grouping items discount, which is, you know, you're given a discount on the face of it. Payment would, uh, essentially you can do that as a deposit and then you have sales tax items and sales tax groups. Okay. So sales tax item is the sales tax that you charge in a specific locality. Sales tax group might be a, uh, a state sales tax plus a local sales tax. And if you just charge it on one invoice, you're going to group those together.
Okay, so that's a quick rundown of all these items. Let's go to service. Okay, so the first thing we're going to say is uh, what is the name? Okay, uh, you can put a number if you have a certain number in system, but we're going to say what is the name on here? And we're going to say uh, delivery charge. Okay, so we're delivery charge. Now you can make this a sub item of another item. Okay. If uh, it's something like if you have multiple sub items under one item, you can do this. We're not going to. Unit of measure. You don't have to fill this in, uh, but you could say unit of measure could be um, an actual measurement, inches, feet, centimeters, whatever it is. Uh, or it could be, you know, delivery charges, um, you know, one way or mileage or whatever it is. Uh, but you don't need to. It could be a flat rate. It can be whatever you want. All right. Now you're going to check this box. This service is used in assemblies or is performed by a subcontractor. So if this is performed by somebody else, so let's say you sell something, uh, but um, you know you actually contract that out to somebody else to do the delivery, you're going to check this, and then we fill in the purchase information and the sales information. Okay. In this case, we're going to assume that we actually do the delivery. Then you're going to put in a description delivery charge. Now, of course, you can get a little more descriptive on your own uh, because this is what will show up on the invoice. I'll show you that here in a minute. And then we're going to say rate. Okay, we're going to say $150 delivery charge, uh, tax or no tax. Okay, we're going to say this is a non-taxable sale. Of course, you're going to have to check in your locality if, you know, services are taxable or not. Most jurisdictions are not. Okay, then the account, and this is really important, is we have to specify where this is going to go on the profit and loss. Since this is a delivery charge, this is income to us that we are going to get, okay, we're going to put this somewhere on here. All right, now in this case, that looks like an account that it could go to. You may have to create an account called delivery fees or delivery charges. We're going to say reimbursed freight and delivery. Okay, so from there, all you got to do is you click OK. And now we have a new service charge set up, delivery charge. All right, so let's go back to create an invoice. And I say customers create invoices. Um, I don't need to pick a customer for this one, but we're going to say delivery charge. All right, so you see here, this is where that description shows up. Now, if you just do a basic description in the item, you can always go in here and say, you know, you can add to it. You can say one way delivery fee, whatever. Uh, haul away, washer and dryer. You can put whatever you want to on the face of this. All right, we have quantity. Um, it's just a flat rate, so it's 150 bucks. Now, if for some reason this was each way and you had two ways, you could say two, $300, and it totals it down here, and you'll see that it says total, uh, no tax, 0%, total 300. Now, if for some reason you messed up the item, you can always add the tax here, okay, when you have these sales tax items that I discussed before. Um, but of course, if it should be taxed, it's going to be better to go back to the actual item and charge the tax. Okay, so then we hit save and close and we're good to go on this uh, invoice. And we send this to the customer and get paid. So those are the very basics of how to set up an item in QuickBooks. Um, Again, like I said, there's multiple items, but again, the important things are you want to put in, you know, the fees you're charging, you're going to put in what type of item it is, and most importantly, you're going to put in what account uh, it's going to go to. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Uh, also, head over to the QuickBooks University, a lot more to learn over there. It's qbuniversity.org.